55 here. What up? What up? Yo, this last episode of My Hero Academia? Yo, this last episode, bruh? This look, yo. This last episode with Shigaraki, Tomura. My goodness. The way they're setting it up, just to give a little premise, I do not read the manga. I just watch anime episodes only, so if you are listening to this video, I'm going to ask you, do not, do not leave no spoiler comments. It'll get your, your comments deleted, reported, or whatever appropriate action needs to be done. This, But if you read the manga, you want to just get a little reaction to it, cool, then for the anime only folk like myself, yo, let's, 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 let's do this. But what they're doing with Tomura right now? Yo, they are setting it up, you know, and I'm looking forward to seeing what guy Gan Tamachia can do. Because I see him chasing tomorrow for so long, and it's going to be interesting. Looking at how what's going to happen to Endeavor, there's so much to speculate about right now. You know that Deku is going to have to evolve in some way, or his one for all powers that he's been training up. Because he's obviously older now, just like Shigaraki is older now. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen. Maybe it'll be Endeavor versus Gaigan Tamachia or some type of combination because he seems to be extremely powerful. I wouldn't be surprised if he has some type of shrink mechanic, where he, but he just looks like he's very crazy. But I'm imagining Deku's going to have, we're going to see some really crazy evolution from Deku with his speed and his power, and that's going to be exciting to see. And something that My Hero Academia has done a great job of is building up a huge list of characters. And this episode, we just got introduced to a new villain. That new villain's name was Getten, and he was the character with the white hair and the ice power. But one thing My Hero Academia is doing a great job of is introducing us to all these different heroes because it creates a lot of scenarios that can be really interesting. The fact that the first one for all is telling Deku to go after him probably means this is some type of second coming of all for one or an equivalent or something great. He called it a backlash show. I think. This is going to have some huge implications for what we're going to see here. The conversation between Toko, Yami, and Dabi was pretty interesting concerning Hawks and Twice. Because, again, the show is pointing out to you this theme that the heroes seem to do more villainous things than the villains do. It's a very interesting twist that they're building up here. Anyway... You see how dedicated and inspired uh, Tokoyami is to Hawks. And, you know, even with the tears coming out of his eyes, he wants to believe in him being a good guy. Maybe that's something that might play a role later in uh, Tokoyami's character development. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, the other thing I'll be interested to see here is what's going to happen with Endeavor. Obviously, the show is setting it up so that he's not, maybe not the number one hero because uh, right now, the first one for all is telling Deku to go stop, uh, you know, Tomura. And that does not seem like a great idea <laughs> because of how powerful Tomura is. But the awakening they gave him, the, the, the way they introduced his powers... As he's going through this episode, it was a great return of the character. Because you didn't know how far that thing was going to keep going. At first, I thought it was going to show him destroying the hospital. But it went into the city. And now you have heroes dying. So they're putting a strong um, finality into the series once people start dying. And sure, you can say that they're minor characters. But I don't put it above anime authors to... Uh, kill important characters to deliver strong messages. And to be honest, looking at Hawks, his back was burnt out. Uh, we do have a character, though, in the story that can retcon everything through her powers. It's not to say that his feathers won't grow back and his back will be gone, but I'm not sure to what extent his back is made up of feathers or, or regular just 
human bone, but it looked like his, but he said his entire back was gone. I don't know if that had reference to the bone tissue, whatever the case is. So this show has no problem. And it's interesting how My Hero Academia carries this theme. I noticed that from the beginning of characters being scarred up. Tomura scarred up. Deku scarred up. Now Hawks has this. This this, this is a theme here that these heroes are very human. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the next episode. This is 255 out one.